So today we're going to be using Angus and Oink's new winner winner chicken dinner rub. Gotta say it tastes amazing. I've done the old taste dip test and it was awesome. If you're just getting into smoking your meats, you really got to have a go at doing these beer can chickens. They're great, they're awesome, super juicy, the best chicken you're ever going to have and the flavour profiles are awesome. You can do what you want with it. Let's show you how to do it. Beer can chicken is one of the very first things I ever smoked and let me tell you, it was the most succulent, juiciest, tender chicken I've ever had in my life. Honestly, it was spot on. So with that being said, we're gonna do two beer can chickens today. Gonna to keep it fairly simple. Now I've got to say a big thanks to Melissa and Scott Fraser for sending me this. I just bought a load of rubs to take with us when we go over to America. Gonna gift them out. And they sent me this new rub that's not even been released yet. The release date is this Friday. Gotta say, Angus and Oink, been using them for years. Not sponsored by them in any way, shape or form. There is no affiliation with me to them. It's just a great product and I'm just being honest and open about that. So if you're in the UK, get on it. Get yourself some Angus and Oink rubs. They are great. So what we're gonna do, firstly, we need to coat these with a little bit of oil. You could dry brine these overnight in the fridge just to get that skin dry if you want to get that crispy skin. Totally up to you. But what I'm gonna be using today is this Tubby Tom's Saba foil. It's got basil, it's got rosemary, it's infused, it's awesome stuff. It's smoked as well. Cold pressed, extra virgin, infused with real wood smoke. Can't go wrong with that, honestly, genuinely. Again, great product. So what we'll do first, I've got two pairs of gloves on because we're working with poultry, you gotta be a bit careful. We're gonna get some of that rub up in the cavity and on that breast under the skin just to give it some extra flavor. So let's get that done first. Normally you can do this without tearing the skin. Pretty easy to get up in there. Just get your hand up in there like that. You could mix the rub with butter and then use it like that, do it like that. That would work really, really well. But today we're just gonna keep it simple and put that rub up in there. So just gently get up in there and we're gonna incorporate that rub as far in there as possible. Okay, so with my clean glove, we're gonna get some of that rub up in there and in the cavity just be careful not to break the skin and again all round in that cavity so we're going to get that tubby tom's oil all over rub that in give it a good massage we're going to be running the pellet smoker at 340 degrees fahrenheit this just helps let that rub adhere to the skin as i say get it all over everywhere you can. These are quite big birds. They're about 2.2 kilos each. They're gonna take around, I'd say a good hour and a half to two hours max. As I say, we need to get that to that safe temperature. Right, so now we get the rub on. All over. Okay, this rub smells amazing. You know when you're cooking like a, a nice roast dinner and you've got that whole smell in the house? That's exactly what this smells like. It smells like you're literally like a nice roast dinner being cooked right now. Okay, so. So when it comes to doing beer can chicken, there is all sorts of different types of these that you can get. You can get little baskets where you can just place the beer can in and you just sit it on top. This one's a Weber one, it's pretty cool, I like it. It's got a plug for the top of the chicken to hold all those juices in. You got your little bowl there for your beer. You can add butter, beer. You don't have to use beer to be honest, it's totally up to you, you could use water. You're just steaming that chicken from the inside out, that's what you want to do. One good tip, get your beer out let it get to room temperature because you don't want it ice cold. Obviously you're cooking this chicken, you want that to steam up. So you want that to steam up quite easily. You don't want to put ice cold beer in there because it will take ages to start steaming up. So. Put that beer in there. I'm going to stuff some rosemary up inside the chicken. And I'm also going to get a decent amount of time and poke that up in there as well, just to infuse that. Now, as I say, you could add butter, garlic, whatever you want, but like I say, today I'm just keeping it simple. So you get your chicken and you place it on top. Now, it's as simple as that. That then is gonna steam the chicken from the inside out and you're gonna smoke it from the outside in. There's your plug, it keeps the juices in and there you go, there you have it. What I will do, just where we've been handling it, there is a little bit of the area where the chicken hasn't got, just get up under there, 
pat that in. A little bit under there, pat that in. Okay, that one's now ready. We'll get that on the smoker in a minute. Let's just put that to one side. Let's get a new gloves on. There's about a quarter of a can there. You can actually take the lid of the can off. You could cut that off and then it would allow better amount of steam. We're just gonna add some of this Tubby Tom oil purely because it's got garlic and all that good stuff in. We're then just gonna chuck some thyme in there and also a little bit of rosemary. Put that rosemary in there as well. And as I say, garlic, butter, a little bit of Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcester sauce, Worcestershire sauce. You could add that in there as well. So we're gonna get a tin for this one. If you wanna keep the smoker clean, you wanna save the uh, juices from going all over that pit. Okay, so here comes the fun part. So you get your chicken, get your beer can, and literally, on it goes. And there you have your beer can chicken. Hopefully it doesn't fall over. Not had one fall over yet, but you never know. So, right, with that being said, just gonna get some of this leftover rub, sprinkle that over, just wherever you can see it's missing some. And what you could do to plug this yourself, you could put, get a potato, something like that, a new potato, stuff that down in there, that would work. So let's try and get this on the smoker without tipping it over or losing it. See you on the smoker, guys. See you in a minute. Okay, so as I say, we're running the smoker at 340 degrees Fahrenheit. Just wanna carefully place that chicken on. We'll get this one on as well. Okay, so we're gonna go a good hour and I might crank it up after a 40 minutes to an hour. So we'll see you then, guys. Let's get them smoking away. <laughs> Can't wait for this. Oh, yes. Okay, so we're an hour in now. We're just gonna have a quick look. Oh yeah, they're looking good. As you can see there, it's browning off nicely. Looking good. I mean, right now, what you could start doing is basting, melting and basting these with butter. But as I say, we are gonna keep it simple and they are looking really good. It's just a shame about the lighting. I do need to uh, get some better lighting set up, that's for sure. But yeah, they're looking great, they're looking awesome. We'll just keep going until they reach that internal temp of about 75 to 80 degrees Celsius, 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's shut this up. While you're looking, you ain't cooking. Catch you in a bit, guys. Cheers. Okay, so we're an hour and a half in now. I just want to probe and see how we're getting on. We may crank it up a little bit. Man, look at those colors. Okay, so we're 74. 76, that's not too bad. 69, so there's a little bit less on this one. It is slightly bigger. 61. We're now gonna crank it up to 375 and get that up to temp. We wanna get them to like a good 75, 80 degrees Celsius. Cool, catch you in a bit, guys. Okay, so we're just getting up to the two hour mark. As I say, these are big birds and that's why they've took that long to get there. We have cranked it up to 375. Let's have a look now. Oh man, look at them, they're looking good. 85 on this one 82 right I'm gonna take that one off let's try this one 72 70 so this is a slightly bigger bird it might be because we've put it in that tin tray that it's protected it from the heat a little bit more maybe maybe not I don't know yeah we're 87 in the leg but we just want to get that to that safe temperature so I'm gonna take this one off let this one rest I'm gonna crank it up a little bit more just to get this one finished off so let's get that off and let that rest Okay, so it's been another 20 minutes. We cranked it up to 400 just to get this one where we wanted it. Slightly bigger, that's probably why. Yep, 82 degrees there, happy with that. 86 there, okay, that's cool. So we'll get this one off and then we'll slice them up and show you how we did. See you in a minute, guys. Okay, so this one took about an hour and 45 to an hour and 50 minutes. The other one was slightly bigger, so that took about two hours and 10 minutes, two hours, 15 minutes. Let's slice into it and see how we did. But firstly, I just want to get it on to a chopping board. Look at all them juices, man. Oh, yes. Right, so we take that off, lift it up gently. Look at it. Still got crispy skin. That is gonna be absolutely melting your mouth. I mean, 
The legs are just gonna fall apart, I can see that already. Okay, so let's just take a slice of the breast. I mean, look at that, so juicy, it's unbelievable. And I gotta add, we let this rest for about 20 minutes. We just put some tin foil over it, it's quite cold out here, but it's still quite warm as you can see. Proof in the pudding, let's give it a try. Mm, that rub is awesome. That's added a wicked flavor to that, I've got to say. The, the skin is nice and crispy. You just cannot go wrong. Let's try a wing. I mean, look at that. Absolutely juicy as you like. Look, falling apart, melting your mouth. Mm. I've got about four people in the background looking at me like they are drooling, literally. Stop eating it all. Hurry up. Hurry up. <laughs> well, what can I say? It's got a lovely little smoke ring there. That is a winner winner chicken dinner. Go and get yourself some. I'll leave a link to their website down below. Now you can always get a bit of the old juice and pour it over, a bit of liquor. Look at that. That just adds to the flavor. I mean, you could, you could reduce that down and make a, a dipping juice out of that. I mean, look how... That is just fall apart tender, absolutely. Juicy as you like, spot on. Okay, so that is what's left so far of two chickens, two whole chickens, literally a couple of minutes later, they, they were like vultures, just swooped in on it. Honestly, absolutely terrible. Anyway, like I say, I know I keep going on about this, but I've just got to say, this rub is awesome, and it did make this very flavorful, absolutely, 100%, wholeheartedly, it really did. What I do want to say is, make a point of saying as well is, it doesn't matter what cooker you're cooking on, you can cook it in your oven at home, or on a Weber kettle, to a smoker, pellet smoker like we did today. It doesn't matter what you're cooking on, just cook to those temps and that time, and you just cannot go wrong. See you when I see you guys. Go cook something exceptional. Cheers.